Wow, I can't believe we're already on the second last video. If you go to hunkim.com slash ASGamer, H-U-N-K-I-M dot com slash ASGamer, we click on the second last link here using frame labels and art tweening. So this stuff uh, is not as heavy on the code, which is nice. Scroll to the bottom of the tutorial, download the zip, extract it, uh, run it, open all the associated AS files as we've done before in previous tutorials. And what's new here is that we can explode the enemy. Look at that beautiful, beautiful animation. So let me shoot one more for you. Alright, ah, oh, got one. Did you see that? That's amazing. So how is that explosion occurring? Go to your FLA file, Basics 1, go to the library, and then double click your Stinger movie clip here. Double click. Here's a Stinger movie clip. We're going to go on the timeline. And on the timeline, I'm just going to drag this a bit higher here so you can see this a bit better. Notice how on frame 1, here's a story. On frame 2, uh, three, four, five. I'm clicking through here, so somehow, uh, starting from here, I see. For, starting from frame two, I see there's an explosion um, type of motion that occurred, and finally, at the end, it's gone. All right, let's try to follow this. So what we have here is a green arrow. This means the shape tween. We simply choose the beginning keyframe and then the end keyframe so it looks like uh, on different layers we have different parts pieces of the ship I'm just hiding and showing these to see what's going on here and you just choose the, be the beginning which is the ship intact and the end where you can just drag all the pieces apart and uh, we, we just have the shape tween automatically figuring out the parts in between now we notice how on this uh, layer called labels we have uh, one, two, three labels, the red flags. When I click on the first red flag, click on properties, I see that the name, the label, the frame label is called default. If I click on the second flag, this label is called destroyed. And on finally on frame 15, this flag, this label is called destroyed complete it's interesting how we can also name labels by name as opposed to simply by frame number. Let's highlight some change code here. Begin in the stinger.as file. This is the enemy. If you go to the enemy loop code here, it says here within the loop, which is called every frame, if current label is not equals to destroyed. This is not equals to destroyed. So it's interesting that current label is a reserved word and it, we can actually put double quotes around it and it will actually be compared to the label that we gave it previously for our frame. So as long as this uh, spaceship, this monster is not at the destroyed phase, then we carry on and actually uh, move it. Alright, so on the last uh, frame label we have destroyed complete, so if we indeed we are at the phase where the monster is finished blowing up, then we remove self. So we also have a function here called a take hit, and it's uh, gonna change the the monster's rotation. So the rotation is gonna be random number between zero and three sixty, because math.random returns a number between zero and one multiplied by three sixty. So somehow the uh, uh, when you, when the enemy takes a hit, it rotates. It also goes through and plays the frame called destroyed. And destroyed is over here, and it plays it out. It plays it out until it blows up into pieces. Now the question is, when is this take hit function called for the uh, monster stinger? Let's go to the laser blue class. So the laser blue class calls the function take hit. So in the case where we actually do hit the enemy, remember that when the laser actually collides, hit test the object, uh, the actual specific uh, enemy, uh, then in that case, we call the take hit function. Okay, what we have here is we have a engine, which is a name of our engine class. So we have a 
we have a static uh, variable, a static array, enemy list, and we're just focusing on the particular enemy because we're looping through this array for each enemy in this uh, array. So let's go to the engine here and you can see we have a static variable within the engine class. The static variable is called enemy list and uh, because this enemy list which is a, an array is static uh, there is no need to actually create, create a use the word new. Alright so it's interesting in this tutorial to learn how to actually explode out pieces using shape tweens as well as uh, call uh, code using frame uh, frame labels. Now we don't have to use frame labels. We could have just used the the movie clips equivalent of go to and stop or go to and play uh, type functions. Okay, great job. We're almost done our space shooter. One more tutorial on this series to go.